The ninth generation Honda Civic was a bit lackluster and seemed to be missing some of that mojo Honda Compacts are world famous for. Well, for 2016, it seems the Civic is back. Completely redesigned from the ground up, the new model is nothing like the old car. Honda claims this is the biggest complete redesign the Civic has ever received. The goal with the 10th generation car is to recapture some of the sporty character the Civic used to be known for, but was lacking in the last generation. It is 2 inches wider, 1 inch lower, and built on a 1.2 inch longer wheelbase. The new look has a lot of the 2016 Accord up front and a blend of Insight, Crosstour, and FCV clarity in the back. Sitting ahead of the large front fender flares are available LED headlights, much like Acura's Jewel Eyes. As well, LED daytime running lights and LED taillights are standard. The news under the skin is just as dramatic as the Civic's new look. There will be two engines available in regular Civics, a new 2 liter and a new turbocharged 1.5 liter unit. This marks the first time a turbocharged engine has ever been offered in a Honda product in North America. And Honda claims it will have class leading levels of performance, so expect power from the turbo to be high. The turbocharged engine will come in EXT, EXL and touring trims of the Civic. The 2 liter engine found in the LX Civic won't be a slouch either as Honda claims it's the most powerful base engine ever put in a Civic. Like horsepower numbers, Honda is being vague when it comes to fuel economy ratings, but claims the Civic should be in excess of 40 miles per gallon on the highway, thanks in part to a 12% improvement in aerodynamics. So it's got the power it needs, but what about the handling? Well, the new Civic features a front strut suspension and multi-link rear end design. Honda claims body rigidity is up 25%, while weight is down 68 pounds, for the body at least. Variable gear ratio steering, beefier front and rear stabilizer bars, four-wheel disc brakes, and handling assist brake torque vectoring will be included in the new Civic. Inside, there's now an extra 3.7 cubic feet of passenger space, which leads to an extra two inches of rear legroom. The rear seats can now accommodate six foot passengers like myself, and if you are stuck back there, there's also optional heated seats. With this slope back rear design, trunk space is also up 2.6 cubic feet. Standard inside the Civic is automatic climate control as well as an electronic parking brake. On the technology front, a 7 inch display audio touchscreen is available that can operate either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. The 10th generation Civic will also break from tradition in North America by being offered as a coupe, sedan and 5 door hatchback. Later on there will be a sporty SI model, but the one we're really waiting for is the Type R. More details about the new Civic will be available closer to the launch date of the sedan later this fall.